Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, making some really good trades, and I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend as well, enjoyed some relaxation, but diving right back into the charts here on Sunday night, we can see that Bitcoin is starting to drop a little bit, down about 1.63%, nothing too crazy. Let's take a look at Market Cypher, as we do have some bearish signs. Once again, we still got that red money flow on that daily time frame. We have a bit of a bearish divergence going on here on the momentum waves according to the price of bitcoin here we did make a little bit of a higher high i think it was on the the bybit chart there we go the bybit chart we made a higher high i think the bit stamp chart really overshooted it here right went up to twenty nine thousand three hundred. but right here on bybit and all the other exchanges as well on binance you actually made a higher high recently not the the first pump here so this would be a bearish divergence on the momentum waves increasing red money flow red dot right here confirming now we have some very bearish numbers on the dual band strength index so it looks like bitcoin could be getting ready for a potential drop down but again is this drop going to bring us down to the bottom of this range which support is at 26,500 or are we going to come back down to 25,000 uh, basically $25,000 flat, which is the top of this range right here. And I've again, I've been looking at this level for quite a bit of time now. I wasn't too sure if it was going to test it, but it seems that, you know, as, as the longer we flow it up here, it seems the, like the, the more likely case. And I, again, we'll take a look at some other indicators as well, like wave edge. We see that we have some pretty, you know, a pretty heavy amount of selling here. Last time we got one, two, three, four, five, Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six. A heavy uh, selling triangles right here, which is basically whales selling as the price goes up here. And eventually you'll get your pullback. And again, that's kind of what we're getting right now. We have one, two, three, four, five uh, selling, you know, signals right here from big amount of whales. So it's possible that the price of Bitcoin could start to come down on the top of that you have also again you also have a bearish divergence on the rsi as well as with a crowd across on the macd on the daily time frame and then the, i think the stock rsi is coming down as well but the, no signals on on the wave edge x here so we'll see how everything's doing on monday morning at the open uh, right now you guys can probably tell that oil had a huge gap up today with saudi cutting uh, 1 million barrels per day on their production i don't think it was just saudi but saudi but it was opec as a whole with all you know all the other producers cutting cutting back on production so again that caused a huge spike in the oil price right now and i think my final order for oil that my oil shirt was actually filled at the open because it was or is it, it was actually around 78 but because the price gapped up at the open my order was just filled right here so i'm going to be posting those trades in the chat later inside the discord again these are free trades i give to you guys so probably have my short going to be open right around here and I'm probably already in the money as it is starting to pull back right now. And take a look at this upsloping white trend line that I had drawn out from before all the way from down here moving towards the upside. Again, it was acting as resistance many times and we just tagged it here, uh, you know, at the at the open on oil. But it's very possible that, you know, the oil price could start to come back up here and retest potentially $82 which would be heavy, heavy, heavy amount of resistance. So please do not discount that and please take it into account when you make your trades tomorrow morning. It's very possible that oil could come back here and retest 82 before coming back down. All right, and let's take, let's keep going on uh, Bitcoin here because we weren't done. We weren't completely done on it. And again, I uh, was actually looking at the bullish scenario and the bearish scenario. So the bearish scenario is that obviously we come back down and retest the top of this range, at which point I do expect a nice little bounce on Bitcoin. Uh, but if we do, you know, end up holding these levels here and even maybe coming back down to 26,700 and we end up holding it and we come back toward, you know, we start to move back up towards the upside, then I do have some, uh, you know, some resist, uh, some potential resistance coming in here from this down sloping channel that we've had in the past these two touch points actually these three touch points acting as resistance for the, the top 
right here from 2021 and then this top right here and then this top right here acting as resistance so i would expect that it could potentially act as resistance once again the resistance for this uh this target right here would be right around 29,000. 564 depending on when you make contact right now we're on the daily so if this were to reverse back up tomorrow then your resistance would be right around 29,636 okay again nothing nothing says that we're gonna do that 100% push back up towards the upside actually the country the, the contrary the contrary we're actually getting some bearish signs however all right let's take a look at the bullish scenario is that we keep moving towards the upside on the monthly time frame, Bitcoin is looking very promising with some very bullish numbers here on the dual band strength index. We have a minus five and an 18 on the new monthly candle. Again, no, I didn't do any April Fool's jokes because I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't really in the mood or, you know, I didn't, probably didn't find time to do that. But a lot of other YouTubers uh, you know, did it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed their jokes. They are quite some funny guys on YouTube making some fun jokes on crypto but yeah right now we got still got some green money flow on the monthly time frame weekly month, weekly time frame you're actually almost out of the red money flow which is really nice to see uh, however the momentum wave is still you know it's potentially starting to curl in here and the dual band strength index is actually looking a little bit weaker on market cipher right now with a seven and a two so it's possible that we maybe get a bit of a pause week here on bitcoin but again I'm expecting a potential big move here in the markets. Right now, the S&P had a huge rally towards the upside, actually down a bit in the red right now, down about 0.35%. NASDAQ down a little bit more here, probably because of what's happening with oil. And again, that's not too surprising as well. You know, OPEC cutting here, that's probably not good for the US and, and the inflation as a whole. But we're going to have to see how the market digests all this news tomorrow at the open. But right now, it's not looking that great for Bitcoin on the shorter time frames. Larger time frames look very promising. But again, we could get a pullback before our next leg up towards the upside. And again, we have a potential A wave here and a B wave back up. If this confirms down, then this that would be your this would have been a, your your B wave right here. And then we're gonna get our C wave towards the downside. And again, you got your target at 1.618, right around 20, right around 24,000. 569 which is essentially 25,000 the retest of this top of this trend line right here all right okay uh let's take a look at i don't, I don't really want don't really want to take a look at the indices but right now we got nat gas coming in here gapping down at the open it was actually down i think seven percent at the open uh you know from peak to tr tr trough i don't think i don't think it was peak to trough let's take a look because the da the, the daily closed here right around uh, two dollars and 18 cents and we went as low as two dollars and 83 so, so that was a bit of 44 point any one percent drop but uh, i was actually looking at the nymex so let's take a look at nat gas on the nymex here so let me just load up the nymex for wave edge and let me just load it up sorry there we go so wave edge and market cipher so we'll take a look at it because on the weekly time frame i saw something i really liked on the nymex we got a big amount of buying a significant amount of buying and on top of that a green cross for a potential reversal and the nymex opened down it was actually down it's actually down six percent right now compared to pepperstone and currency.com but we did not make a lower low which is interesting because if you look at currency.com and stuff all the other ones like i think this is pepper is this pepperstone no this one's currency.com we actually made a lower low so on other charts we're making lower lows but when you look at the nat gas futures we did not make a lower low for the time being you know for now and right now on the weekly time frame the macd has almost crossed over and you know the rsi is starting to get it whoops let me just zoom in here the rsi is actually getting a little bit of a bullish divergence here we maybe even some hidden bullish divergence so you know you're not making a lower low but you're you're pretty you're basically coming back to double bottom and the rsi is showing a little bit more strength on the weekly time frame daily looks significantly better you know especially with this big drop down in that gas again and then the rsi holding well right around the 35 area right and on top of that on the on the daily time frame you actually got a bit of a actually you're almost getting a green cross here it's almost crossing again that would be a potential long signal as well for that gas so we're gonna have to see how everything plays out 
uh, wave edge X almost back into that green here so we'll see if it can get back in in the next couple of days maybe this week we'll see some action but overall it's still looking very promising for nat gas let's take a look at the monthly something i want to show you guys as well a nice green cross so a potential reversal on the monthly time frame for nat gas so again i still think that we are very if not this is not the bottom we are very near bottom since nat gas is trading near all-time lows again again your all-time low on the nymex is like a dollar and 46 cents a dollar and 50 cents essentially you didn't really go lower than that maybe back in 1992 you went as low as a, a buck a buck and five cents but i think we're gonna stick to the more recent lows right here right around a dollar and 51 cents as your you know your 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 first target for your low all right and every since every time not every time but we have had significant reversals in that gas with these green crosses in the past you can probably tell you know a nice little pump right here this is these are on the monthly candles right so again we got a 13 percent rally here from the lows here we got like a 40 percent rally so we'll, we'll have to see how everything plays out but overall it's looking promising all right uh, let's take a look at way not wave edge uh, market cipher so on the daily time frame we did get our green dot here but again with this big gap down in that in that gas it could probably throw off the numbers on the dual band strength index we were having some really bullish numbers now we're not now not so much on the daily we could take a look at the two day the two day almost printed a green dot but obviously not anymore because we just gapped down uh three day nothing there yet four days actually looking pretty bearish in a weekly time frame with coming out with some more some some bigger bearish numbers now on the dual band strength index but uh really nothing to, to to look at there however the new monthly time frame that we got sorry the new candle that we got on our monthly time frame is actually looking a little bit better because now we have a seven and a four so i guess this one increase in the number is looking a little bit better but overall nothing too crazy uh, nothing really changing on market cipher you, i guess we could look at the shorter time frames as well we still have red money flow but it's starting look, looks like it's starting to creep back up here this big drop in uh, in that gas definitely brought out the, the bearish numbers on the dual band strength index and maybe even on the one hour time frame it's not looking that great all right i think i just want to finish it off with the bitcoin here on the some shorter time frame analysis on the one hour time frame i was looking at it right now uh, you have a bit of a double bottom, not a bu double bottom, sorry. You have a bit of a bullish divergence right now in the Bitcoin price. You made a low here, right there, right? You made a low and then we just made a lower low in the RSI is forming a tiny bit of a, bull a bullish divergence. So again, you could chance along in these levels and try and ride it back up to, to 28,700, which is our, you know, our major resistance right now. Uh, for Bitcoin but if, it, if we end up breaking out of here you can get a very big uh, rally with some short covering hitting a lot of people stop losses I'm, in my opinion if the stop losses are set they're probably set right above this previous high here I'm oh, sorry I'll draw a line for you guys so those stop losses are probably set up right around this right around this area so probably probably if you hit all those stops you might get a, get an impulse towards the upside but uh, excuse me sorry no. <laughs> that was a bullish burp <laughs> but if we do get more upside bitcoin really needs to show some strength here if we break down from this trend line again i just have have it drawn out from these two touch points and we just bounced off of the level right now so if we do get some more upside bitcoin really needs to show some strength if we can't manage to you know get get some momentum in my opinion you're probably going to see more downside and you're going to retest twenty six thousand five hundred. Which, we, which by the way we've retested many times which would not be a good thing because you know the more you test the support the more likely it's going to break but again more, the more you test the resistance and the more likely it's going to break as well and right now we've, we've just been bouncing up and down up and down back and forth back and forth but you know we have some very you know nice bullish bullish signs and bullish indicators flagging it showing us that we could see more upside in bitcoin I, I, i'm not i'm not you know that bearish on the markets right now you know i think we could see a little bit more upside in the nasdaq you know all things all, all, all things considered i think we that you know the, the trend we have a very strong uptrend right now we could very easily come up to thirteen thousand five hundred, uh but it doesn't mean we can get a pop uh, we we're gonna we're it doesn't mean that we can't get a pause day here and there you know nothing goes up in a straight line everyone knows this 
you guys can see we rally, we pause, right? Chop sideways, and then we start to rally again, right? So that's probably what's what's happening on Bitcoin right now. Something similar, you know, we've rallied a significant amount. Now we're consolidating. Are we going to keep rallying? Are we going to get a big reversal in the markets? We'll see, we're going to have to see how everything plays out tomorrow. So if you guys want to join the Discord, the link's in the description. If you guys want to join the trading room as well with Silas that does their day trading for cryptos, he's in there as well. I'm more of a swing trader. That's what I've been starting to shift to as well. And it's been working out pretty well. Uh, again, we're going to have to see how everything opens out tomorrow at the open. So I'll be with you guys in the room right around 930. Thanks for listening, guys. You guys are awesome. Love you all. Peace.